Okay, so today I'm working on a uh, CAT 3208 engine. This is a 425 turbo version, uh, a marine engine. And uh, so I have taken off the uh, heat exchanger, had the core bundle fixed, and I, while I'm in the mode, I'm replacing the uh, thermostats, which apparently there's two. I didn't realize that there were two. So uh, when you get these, you're going to find that there's a, uh, a little bit of a, a lip that you're going to want to clean out. I've gone ahead and scraped all this off with a uh, painter's putty knife. And uh, this one right here, you're going to want to make sure that it sits right in that lip nice and tight. So that's going to fit snug in there. So those are the two new ones. And then you've got the, this is the 9N5429 gasket. And then of course it only goes on one direction, which is this way. The tricky part is going to be making sure that these things don't fall down when I put the cap back on, which looks a little bit like this right here. So this will basically just go back on. You got four bolts that go on here. And of course, off it goes. You're going to want to clean this out. I got to take this upstairs and give it a thorough clean because it's pretty nasty. But uh, that's where the thermostats are. So they ride underneath what would be, let me show you on this side over here underneath this guy right here so this whole thing has to come off and it comes off pretty simple it's not as complicated as it seems you just have to make sure that you drain all the fluid out uh, you can recycle the fluid by pumping it into a couple of uh, you know containers probably about six to seven it depends on how many how much you've got in there uh, but this whole piece comes off you've got the core bundle uh, and i just had it fixed in here this engine runs fantastic but uh, and i'm replacing some of the hose so i'll add some hose into here uh, the regulator part is right there. That's the 1028392, and of course that'll be predicated on your particular model. And then we'll uh, we'll put this all back together, and I'll show you uh, how how everything goes back on. Speedometer cable or the uh, uh, RPM cable right here is uh, attached right here. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. What you're gonna want to make sure you do is you're gonna want to take a putty scraper. And you're going to want to make sure you get all of the gasket off of this area right here and on the back of the uh, housing so that when they put the gasket on, which you can see I've already done this and I'm actually having to go back and do it again because I realized it was a little piece of gasket that was sitting right around here. So what did I do is I, before I tightened it all up and got crazy, I put the housing on and I filled it up with a little water into the main hole here to see that if it was dripping before I put the hole heat exchanger back on because once you do this you're going to have to rip it all apart again so uh so basically what you're going to do is you got your thermostats two holes you're going to see there's these rings right here where these are going to just kind of sit in there and you're going to want to make sure they stay there so each one of these uh thermostats sits right into here nicely and you just kind of press them in so that they sit there you don't want them to slip and then you're going to put your housing on which I will do momentarily and then I'll tighten it up and you can see how it goes. But then test it, just put water through this hole right here as it's on and see if it's dripping out of the bottom. That way you know before you put the whole heat exchanger back on uh, that you don't have to rip it all back apart again so that you don't have any leaks. And uh, I may actually put a little gasket sealer on here as well. So. so you can see the housing is on, the thermostat is inside. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hose here that I've got in my bilge. I'm going to just fill this up. Almost to the top. I don't want like... And I'm going to plug that up. I'm going to plug that up. And let that water sit. See if we get any leaking out of the bottom down here, but I cleaned it up, so. So I decided to kick it up an extra notch and I put a hose on here, uh, just a temp hose, and then I'm filling it up so that I can get it all the way to the top around the gasket so that you can kind of get the idea. So I'm filling the water up here and then I'm testing to see if it's leaking anywhere. Because you ideally you want it, you know, as full as possible.